Yes, good morning, uh, everyone who's joined us in. Okay, good morning, Dr. Mridula. Good morning, Dr. Lindsay. How are you? Good, good. All good, all good. So there we are on a Sunday morning. Uh, I am assuming we're not too early in the morning. So we starting off at 11 o'clock. Uh, but then uh, Sundays are the time where uh, we host rendezvous sessions uh, for uh, our student and faculty group uh, that is under PhD 101. So once again, I'd like to welcome Dr. Mridula Tak uh, to the panel. Uh, it's so great to have you on board, uh, Dr. Mridula. Uh, your opening thoughts on, on, on this uh, uh, rendezvous session and, and how's it been uh, preparing for it? So much I say. Uh, first of all, I'm uh, very much thankful to Public Health Dentistry 101 and Dr. Denzi uh, Lawrence for inviting me here to share my experiences on this uh, wonderful platform. And uh, also, I'm thankful to uh, my seniors, my students, my colleagues and my family members who have spared their valuable time. Uh, and uh, they are uh, watching me here today. And uh, I'm a very ordinary person, to be very frank and realistic. I'm a very ordinary person. I'm walking uh, on a, a very normal pace uh, on this uh, special journey of life. Uh, and uh, thank you so much, all of you, for giving me this uh, chance here today. Yes, Dr. Mridal, I think that was uh, uh, very sweet of you with your opening thoughts. Uh, you mentioned about being ordinary. Uh, let me just put this across to all our uh, uh, audience right now who've connected with us on Zoom as well as uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, this session or this series, which is uh, PhD 101 Rendezvous series, uh, it aims to discover uh, exactly ordinary people, but doing a little extraordinary things. So I think I'd just like to put it that way. And we do have uh, people from, I think, uh, Dr. Mridala's uh, family as well here, right? So. Uh, a big shout out to, I think, uh, I can see Dr. Uh, PC Tak. Uh, that must be your uh, uh, father? My father-in-law, yeah. Okay, your father-in-law. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Namaste. <laughs> okay, and then uh, quickly, I think, uh, anybody else uh, from your family is joined in, doctor? Yeah, uh, my husband, uh, Dr. Okay. Anidut Tak, and uh, okay. my co-sister, uh, Dr. Manisha Saxena. Okay, okay. And Lovely. probably others are watching live on YouTube because I shared the YouTube link. Uh -huh. as well. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So once again, uh, welcome uh, everybody, uh, especially uh, everybody from Dr. Madhula's family. Uh, today's session of Rendezvous uh, is a very special one, mainly because it addresses uh, the journey behind the person. Now, for people who are not familiar with uh, the format, this will be a very casual conversation. So I'm going to be bothering Dr. Mridula with a couple of uh, unlikely questions, but all of it pertaining to her journey uh, from uh, college life onwards to uh, the making of statistic solution and everything beyond. I think many of you all, I think when I passed this on among my students, uh, they were like, uh, sir, uh, is this that statistics, ma'am? I said, definitely, yes, it is that, ma'am. <laughs> but she will not be talking about normal curves and p-values, but she'll be talking about the story behind that. And that is what, in fact, makes uh, this whole journey of, uh, uh, you know, joy of statistics and beyond uh, extremely, you know, enriching and uh, useful for, for students to relate. Now, there are going to be some take-home messages for the students who are attending this that, yes, you can pursue your passion. You can take this forward in your own way. And, and, and like they say, right, uh, all this is to, you know, make sure that you inculcate a bit of this and then you get inspired by your teachers, by people who are in your own fraternity. And uh, we would like to, you know, do this with public health dentists by connecting with people with various of them across the country. And we've been talking to many public health dentists who have been going, you know, a little out of the convention and, uh, you know, probably have their own ventures or are into different fields. All of that actually throws up a possible uh, avenue for dental students, uh, especially in, in today's age and time uh, when, you know, uh, everybody is, is being so negative and pessimistic about the future of dentistry. So I think let's gather some hope over the next uh, 45 minutes to an hour. And we'll be sharing snippets from Dr. Mridula's, uh, you know, journey so far. And uh, with that brief, you know, uh, introduction, I'd like to again welcome everybody who's joined us in here. And uh, thank you all so much for taking our time on a Sunday. 
and uh, a big shout out to uh, everyone at Dr. Mudila's family and well wishers and near and dear ones. And most of all, to our uh, UGs and PG students who are connected with us uh, on YouTube, uh, as always, uh, you know, here to take in some uh, bounty, you know, uh, wonderful knowledge from uh, journeys that we have discussed. So thank you, everybody, once again. I think, uh, are we good to go, Dr. Mudila? Yeah, sure, Dr. <laughs> All right. Okay. So there's a little bit of, uh, you know, um, uh, research, which, which I did about you, of course, so to say that, you know, because I got to prepare for the questions. And of course, uh, you being a professor in an dental college, uh, uh, very unlikely to face questions, uh, you'd be the one throwing questions towards students. So I think for a change here, we would be having, you know, some of the snippets of, of your journey so far. So just welcoming everybody again, uh, introducing our uh, uh, guest for today, Dr. Mudala, uh, presently Professor of Public Health Dentistry at the Pacific Dental College and Hospital in Udaipur. And uh, she also is the founder and the statistics expert for Statistics Solutions, which I'm sure most of you all would have come across. Uh, it's an online statistical service, which is really did immense full you know, job. We will be talking about that in, in the future slides to come and hence forth. Now, yes, doctor. So, how did everything start, you know, you know, Udaipur and uh, your uh, interest into dentistry and, uh, you know, how did you nurture it? So would you like to talk about your beginnings, please? Yeah, Udaipur, uh, city of lakes, very close to my heart, uh, born and brought up here only. My father is a, basically a businessman. Nobody uh, in my uh, maternal family is uh, in uh, this medical profession. Uh, they are of business background. Uh, probably my father, he was actually, he was interest, interested uh, during his childhood. He was interested to become a doctor. And uh, during my childhood, he kept telling me that, that, yeah, I wanted to become a doctor, but uh, with one or two marks, I was not able to do that and I invo got involved in the business. So I'm born and brought up here at Udaipur and uh, my schooling was done at Udaipur itself. And even uh, you know, my studies, my college studies, the BDS and MDS, uh, both uh, I pursued uh, from Pacific Dental College uh, Udaipur itself. And um, during my childhood itself, my father uh, and mother, both, uh, they were very keen that I should be very sincere towards my studies. I should uh, focus on my studies. So uh, basically, because that was a background, so I was very studious person. Uh, almost uh, in every class, I was a topper, like <laughs> amongst the toppers. And uh, that trend uh, even continued in BDS and MDS also. So uh, that kind of person I was, I was very studious and uh, actually, after my 12th, after I passed out my 12th class, I had joined the BSc. I was a little confused. Uh, I had taken biology to become a doctor uh, in my 11th standard, but uh, then I was a little confused whether it will be a good decision or not. After 12th, everybody, like, uh, we think about our life. So I was not very sure because there was nobody in my house with medical background to guide me for that. But uh, still, my father, I joined BSc. I had done first year BSc as well. I joined graduation and uh, after I finished my first year, uh, it was my father only who motivated me to uh, join BDS because uh, probably there was a dental college here uh, at Udaipur itself and uh, everybody uh, wants their uh, children to be at the place where they are. So uh, probably because of that, he uh, only forced me to join uh, BDS because I was uh, studious since beginning and he was thinking that uh, in spite of studying uh, so much, uh, I'm just doing the graduation and probably I don't know what I'll be doing further. <laughs> so uh, then uh, he only uh, put me into the profession. Okay, so I think uh, uh, the role played by your father, uh, I think, has immensely brought you into this speciality. Yeah. Now, you've always been inclined towards uh, natural sciences, right? Life sciences and uh, biology and everything. So you also happen to be someone, uh, because I'm trying to connect the dots. Um, uh, how was it uh, for you when you read mathematics back in high school in, in 12th standard? And were you also terrorized by... Uh, the other calculus which we knew back then, uh, unlike now? Uh, 
see mathematics uh, you have now uh, put uh, you know you have pinched my nerve <laughs> actually <laughs> there was a, a immense love for mathematics during my uh, uh, school uh, life i was uh, almost every time i was getting 100 out of 100 in mathematics uh, so uh, that much uh, of passion was there for mathematics but uh, uh, i will tell you that in uh, 11th standard i left maths <laughs> i left maths be just because there was a strong wish to become a doctor there was a strong wish to serve mankind and there was a strong wish to become a doctor so i left maths uh, in 11th standard i was pretty sure i won't be doing anything further with maths so i left it uh, even my grandparents they uh, were uh, not happy very happy with uh, my decision of becoming a doctor because uh, they thought this, uh, first of all there was nobody uh, with the medical background in uh, our family and second thing uh, they were concerned basically it was their concern concern what they uh, wanted like uh, uh, they thought that being a female it will be very difficult to handle everything all the responsibilities and uh, being a doctor is not a very small responsibility so uh, they were just thinking about me myself they were just thinking about me that after becoming a becoming a doctor it would be difficult for you to handle things so uh, according to them for a female the best job is being a lecturer they wanted me to take up commerce subject because i was good at maths and then uh, they wanted me to pursue graduation in commerce post graduation and uh, maybe phd and then uh, become a lecturer and it will be very easy for you to handle life and everything you can easily handle so uh, that was there in their mind they tried to convince me but uh, uh, then uh, because it was a strong wish probably i didn't listen to them and uh, again they were very supportive afterwards uh, uh, in, they uh, they respect my decision and uh, uh, they supported well afterwards true so i think uh, the family members uh, being so resol you know resolutely along with you and uh, nurturing your your passions now once once you entered the dental college doc like uh, once you entered the world of pacific uh, dental college uh, where is your alma mater throughout right as you described uh, you always been academically bright so how were things in your undergraduate days you know uh, this there's, there's a tangent with how each of us embrace dentistry some uh, take time probably until third year final year some of them just relate to some aspects while in the beginning of first and second year and some of them discover that in internship and other so uh, how were how were your uh, undergraduate days of learning and, and teaching i mean rather interacting and experiencing the subjects the relationship with pacific is a long one yeah since 2003 i am there with pacific so it's very close to me definitely uh, so during my bds days uh, one thing which i can relate to is that uh, i used to study with my friends during exams so basically in our bds we are not very serious about our career and uh, we are not very focused like uh, uh, during uh, our final year and internship we learn to get that focus but during our initial years we are not uh, we are just uh, enjoying our college life along with the learning phase also so uh, that was the same thing which happened with me also and uh, uh, during my uh, sessions of group studies like i used to study with some of my friends not uh, all of them but with some of my friends i used to study the frequency matches your uh, studying frequency also matches with some and uh, uh, they used to feel that whatever topic i discuss with them it's very easy for them to write in the exam so uh, like i was a little you know uh, i was in demand that i should study with them so uh, they used to feel that whatever topic i explain it's it becomes uh, automatically it becomes easy for them and even uh, when i explained something to somebody it automatically becomes easy for me also to write that topic so okay. that time it was a thing which happened with me frequently and uh, that time i didn't realize but uh, actually uh, maybe it was the inculcation of it was a beginning of inculcation of teaching skills probably it was happening uh, with me 
And one thing more I want to share at this point is that uh, during uh, my school life, when I was very small, probably in fourth or fifth standard, uh, I had a strong will to become a teacher. Uh, it happened, uh, uh, you know, uh, you get uh, 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 fascinated by some of your teachers when they're teaching and all. So uh, even I wanted to become a teacher uh, afterwards. But then uh, uh, I don't know when it converted to a doctor, like uh, the wish of becoming a teacher get converted to becoming a doctor in uh, your childhood days it might happen but yeah uh, that uh, I think that teaching ability uh, was developing in me uh, mm. since those days itself mm. uh, like to say doctor I think um, what you envision yourself uh, quite early in childhood somehow you relate to things much later uh, around the same universe so uh, you always uh, loved what you did or, you know, you did what you love. Uh, you continue to do that same thing. Like now you're, you're a teacher, you're teaching students uh, in your dental college. And of course, you are empowering a lot of students uh, with specific, you know, especially the you know tough part of statistics, which is considered rel relatively a big hurdle for many of them. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, you continue to be the teacher and you continue to be the doctor and, and to serve and all of uh, this goes ahead. Now, uh, as, as you described, you know, your undergraduation, you always been, you know, teaching uh, your friends and, you know, explaining concepts to them and making yourself uh, also feel more confident in that. Now, uh, the uh, important, you know, junction in, in time when, when it comes to taking a post-graduation. And uh, as we all know that public health dentistry uh, is, is relatively one of the less, least understood specialties in dentistry, uh, simply because... Uh, so this is what everybody, all of us have faced across the country. So how did that happen and how did you decide to go in for PhD itself uh, in MDS? Well, I will say that public health dentistry is a dream come true for me. Definitely, it's a dream come true for me uh, because uh, since beginning, I had uh, uh, somewhere uh, in my mind, there was a small wish that I should be able to serve mankind. In some other, other way, I should do something to serve mankind. And uh, I must say public health dentistry has given me that opportunity to work with the community at the grassroots level. Uh, believe me, it's uh, uh, that level of uh, satisfaction which you uh, will not get um, even if you become a billionaire or a millionaire, uh, you'll not get this type of satisfaction inside you, uh, which we uh, which we get by serving mankind at uh, their doorsteps. Uh, one more thing I will relate here is that uh, uh, during my internship, I was uh, working with uh, Dr. Jagat Sharda. I don't know whether he's watching me here or not. Uh, Dr. Jagat Sharda is a leading uh, orthodontist uh, of Udaipur. He's a leading practitioner here. And uh, during internship, I had joined his clinic uh, for practice. So uh, at that time, uh, in during internship, we are, uh, you know, we are in a confused state, what to do further, whether to do PG or not to do PG, or uh, uh, what branch we should pick up. Uh, though uh, I was, although uh, I had a good clinical hand, but uh, still I was preferring to join public health dentistry it, it was uh, uh, it was my intention to join public health dentistry but uh, then jagat sir uh, i discussed with him and he also supported my decision and uh, i still remember his words that uh, you join public health dentistry and uh, you take my words that you will never regret your decision and uh, yes uh, he was uh, absolutely right uh, I'll, I never regret uh, my decision of joining public health dentistry a lot of work uh, I had done uh, with public health uh, like uh, I was involved in a lot of field work during my post-graduation days this field work uh, is what uh, made, uh, made me up the person what I am today so uh, the field work helped me a lot. I was involved in a lot of uh, um, oral health programs, uh, different types of denture camps, the awareness programs, health education programs, educating the public uh, about oral health issues. It developed a lot of skills, a lot and a lot of skills uh, were developed uh, because of uh, this organizational skills. Uh, I got uh, uh, used to in organizing any kind of uh, programs. And these organizational skills are not only important in your 
your professional life but in personal life also uh, you sometimes you need to apply those skills when whenever you are organizing small small things uh, you need to have those skills inside you otherwise it becomes difficult for you it becomes hectic for you so uh, public health dentistry uh, opened many uh, arenas for me hmm. so i think uh, public health dentistry relates to Uh, i would say more than the uh, the mind it, it relates to the heart i think um, like like you described uh, the feeling of of actually empowering the communities and uh, educating the masses i think this is how uh, all of us have fallen in love with the speciality and uh, there's no looking back and of course uh, the contribution by your uh, sir you know uh, whom you mentioned i think uh, uh, that that really happens to be you know one of the uh, pillars for your uh, development now when you are trying to look into the other aspects of phd like once you've completed your uh, mds in public health dentistry uh, this is one speciality which opens up uh, all the three areas broadly if you look at it in terms of academics or it is services or it is research so whatever we do uh, this is the only speciality which is so many sub disciplines within it so uh, how did you incline yourself towards uh, the focus on the teaching and learning aspect which is the the pedagogy and uh, you know the training of students um, how did you build on that doctor um, this uh, i'll go back to my post graduation days uh, see when uh, see i am a person who will give 100% uh, who will give my 100% to uh, even the smallest of the task uh, any small thing i i am doing i'll be doing it with perfection i i'm not satisfied if i'm not doing it with perfection i'll prepare myself to that level okay i'm not praising myself but that kind of person i am that i want to do everything perfectly uh, one of my batchmates uh, they used to call me miss perfectionist i don't know why <laughs> so uh, that was that is what is there in me since beginning so during the pedagog sessions uh, which used to happen in my pg days uh, that time um, uh, i used to prepare like anything for any undergraduate class i used to prepare like if it's my final exam i am going to mm-hmm. give my final exam and uh, i used to prepare a lot of examples i used to make sure that they are learning what i'm uh, on and they're grasping what i'm uh, telling them so they should be uh, knowing each and every word what i am telling them so that uh, was my uh, you know uh, try always i uh, tried uh, to that level and even uh, all my faculties of the subject uh, dr shrina chetty sir dr ramesh and sir dr nagesh bhat sir dr shivlingesh sir dr archana ma'am dr kailash asawa sir so all those uh, they used to sit at the back bench whenever we used to take lectures they used to sit in the back and afterwards uh, uh, after one hour of the lecture then they used to take lecture for us one hour lecture by them that what mistakes you have made during the lecture any minor thing if you miss out they'll tell you that you have not done this okay so you need to improve on this so that improved my teaching skills a lot that that was a time when i in, worked on my teaching skills basically so uh, whatever appreciations i got today uh, i'm getting today with the uh, from my students uh, during my courses or uh, in the bds lectures also the students they are giving uh, positive feedback that is because of the preparation that was done during that time that so i think uh, your uh, inclination for teaching i mean the way you uh, uh, prepared yourself and and of course um, uh, that's a very uh, relatively neglected area during post graduation many of them pgs don't realize the emphasis of that Uh, and also there has you know uh, it also relates to one's learnings so i think your uh, inclination towards pedagogical instruction that is teaching and learning uh, focusing on what's important for the class how do you explain concepts comes from your um, expertise in all of these things Definitely. now later on i think uh, when you look at the uh, uh, picture like after your post graduation right now uh, you you knew that you wanted to be a teacher of of any aspect of public health industry uh, how was it the convergence which happened uh, towards biostatistics so if you could just give like you know uh, and and an insight into that and uh, how did that uh, go ahead okay so uh, biostatistics uh, i got interested in the very beginning of my post graduation in the very beginning like i joined in 2009 i joined my post graduation in 2009 may uh, somewhere in may 
and in july 2009 there was a convention it was third uh, pg convention which was organized by iaphd uh, and in july 2009 i was fortunate enough to attend that convention and uh, during that convention uh, uh, i had attended one spss workshop by conduct it was conducted by dr r m pandey sir from aims so he conducted a fantastic workshop yeah at kd dental college mathura this convention happened and he conducted a fantastic uh, workshop and uh, that was where the seeds of interest were sown uh, inside my mind okay, that biostatistics i got interest from that workshop itself and since that day i was i started exploring spss in my laptop i started exploring the concepts of spss i started applying uh, biostatistics in my research studies so it was a process which happened uh, that time also uh, during my final year uh, when i was in final year in december uh, november december uh, sometimes uh, at that time uh, dr ramesh and sir he was my guide and uh, he sent us to attend a, a short course on biostatistics at cmc velor okay it was far off uh, from our place but still uh, because uh, uh, he uh, guided us uh, we were able to attend this course short course on biostatistics and uh, it was a five day course uh, by that time we were in final earlier so almost all the concepts uh, were clear but still uh, this uh, course helped us a lot to clear all our doubts it was uh, uh, you know in this course we attended lectures from morning till evening okay all five days it was a, a breakthrough thing and uh, we uh, really i uh, improved a lot uh, because of this course and uh, this health research fundamental course i attended uh, recently this was an online course it was a two months course uh, uh, by icmr chennai and uh, i attended uh, as a faculty uh, for my own upgradation and as i told you i am a person who will give 100% to any smallest of the thing uh, so i managed to read the whole curriculum thoroughly and uh, i stood amongst the top 1% uh, candidates at the national level in this uh, course also so uh, biostatistics the seeds were sown in first year post graduation itself mm. <laughs> so i think uh, from then onwards there's no looking back i think uh, you have taken uh, the journey of statistics uh, to an altogether different level which we will be coming to in in a couple of minutes uh, when you talk about uh, uh, the other aspects like you know public health dentistry uh, um, i did also you know look up and see that you've been a part of a lot of uh, health education and public interaction programs and then as i must say that you're someone who likes to you know nourish with uh, direct contact with the uh, population yeah. so could you just tell us about the activities everything uh, back there in in pacific and uh, um, how has it been and what were your learnings from the uh, interactions like these yeah as faculty also i uh, continue to uh, be a you know a person of interaction with the community i uh, used to uh, organize and get involved in the programs uh, different time, types of programs the awareness programs and uh, uh, the uh, different oral health rallies uh, like we conducted so many rallies and inter school competition oral health awareness competitions for children uh, at college level at, as well as at school levels and many many types of programs the uh, nukkar nataks and all every think we uh, enjoyed doing it and uh, uh, if this uh, being uh, it's been nine and a half years i'm attached to pacific and uh, uh, during these uh, nine and a half years uh, uh, i gained a lot of experience in this field and uh, every single bit of work uh, i had done with uh, uh, interest which has uh, led to my personal development as well mm. so Yeah. yeah this was a program uh, this is a tobacco free generation program this uh, i started uh, we were very much convinced uh, and motivated by vikrant mohanty sir and he is doing very well uh, in this field so we also got motivated and the small program we started uh, 
tobacco free generation in the schools of uh, udaipur city uh, we covered the schools of udaipur city and we spread the awareness amongst the children uh, especially in the government schools uh, the children are more prone to consume this tobacco so we uh, spread awareness uh, in uh, many many schools we had uh, uh, you know we uh, involved uh, uh, the uh, schools and uh, many many schools we have covered till now and in between uh, uh, it was discontinued because the schools were closed due to covid uh, and yes. now again we started this and uh, so this program was also a, a very good initiative which uh, we had taken uh, hmm. during this yes time. yeah so i think uh, working with uh, tobacco and, and and everything oral cancer initiatives i th- also think uh, i think just tell the audience that uh, tumrudila has also been a part of uh, the yeah. largest uh, oral cancer screening program and yeah, uh, yeah. this was uh, i was a co organizer in this event and this was a, a feather in the cap i must say this was a mm-hmm. lifetime experience uh, which i had gained and i'm i was fortunate enough to be a part of this event um, uh, like for almost uh, continuous for uh, 18 to 20 hours we had worked uh, uh, in this programs and so that's why I, uh, i'm telling that this is a lifetime uh, event lifetime experience which i had gained and uh, uh, we examined high highest uh, number of uh, patients we uh, screened uh, highest number of uh, patients for oral cancer on a single day at a single venue and uh, we used well scope uh, for the examination of oral cancer uh, in this uh, program so this was also a, a very nice program which uh, we conducted uh, at nimba heda uh, we conducted this program at nimba heda which is close by to udaipur itself hmm So I think uh, being a part of uh, all of this, we've always seen you. Uh, I mean, now that uh, you know, people are getting to know with your journey, doctor. That um, uh, it's not just one thing which you focus on. Uh, there's always been like a concerted effort uh, into various things. Like uh, while your time in in college, when when you're being a teacher in your classroom, or when is it about being taking up public health dimensions of uh, dental public health rather, focusing on. Uh, programs like cancer intensive programs and uh, tobacco eradication and working with schools and communities uh, i think uh, this has sort of molded you um, into what exactly you are and, and we all really reckon with that and of course when it, when we talk about your uh, uh, research inclinations you know you always started applying more of biostatistics in in all of your research studies and that that of course uh, did you uh, a lot of accolades and just in you know letting all our audience know that uh, dr mrudula has uh, you know again uh, really received a lot of appreciation from her own community there at pacific which is her alma mater and uh, which which she considers and for a major reason for development as such and also been a part of the local idea branches uh, you know the airport which is the cdh representative and so along uh, now doctor i think uh, you've had uh, the experience of of going across uh, and and addressing students uh, of different groups right So, would you like to just uh, share your experiences uh, at at what happened at IOS and uh, uh, the Pahar University program, and uh, a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, I uh, see. I am a person who, uh, you know, uh, who, uh, you know, try to get the opportunities to work. I'm not the person who will uh, try to get the opportunity. Like I'll be sitting and doing something. So I'm a person. I want to take the opportunities to work because if you work. then other opportunities will automatically knock your knock your door so uh, this uh, indian orthodontic society they uh, uh, they uh, contacted me and they asked me to uh, deliver a lecture on uh, statistical requirements for quality research it was a teachers training program conducted by them so dr ritu ma'am uh, uh, he is she is a orthodontist here at udaipur and uh, dr balvinder thakkar sir uh, he is at uh, jaipur both are orthodontists and both of them are known to me and uh, they contacted me and uh, they asked me and they gave they gave me actually the opportunity to talk there because they already knew that i am uh, doing some work in statistics they knew my potential so it was a pleasure uh, uh, taking lecture uh, for the all the orthodontists in front of the orthodontists and teaching them the statistics uh, from square one so it was very much appreciated there also and um, 
uh, even I had taken uh, lectures on digital transformation in health science at Pahir University. It is our own university. And uh, actually, I am the IT coordinator also of our uh, uh, institution because we need to coordinate with the university for all the IT related work. So I was given a chance for this because uh, now, uh, you know, the things are transforming. Uh, you know, uh, the world is transforming towards the digital era. So I am a little techno savvy since beginning. I'm you dealing with softwares and all. So I was given an opportunity there and I think I did justice uh, uh, even there uh, delivering the lecture on this topic. Uh, also, this is a very recent thing, World Food Preservation Center from USA. I don't know from where they got my uh, information and they contacted me to conduct an online lecture. So this was actually an online workshop uh, in which uh, uh, I appeared there and uh, they asked me to conduct a hands-on uh, a workshop there with for SPSS. So uh, I accepted because uh, uh, th th this was a good opportunity for me to learn also. So I accepted their uh, uh, proposal. But uh, then I was a little anxious uh, later that how will I uh, do justice uh, with this lecture? It's an hands on thing. And how will I teach them online? So it was a, a little bit of challenge for me, but then I tried and I succeeded. And the feedback which I received uh, uh, in this lecture was one of its kind. It was a kind of reward for me. Even the other uh, statistics teachers who were uh, taking lectures uh, in this uh, workshop, they also uh, praised me a lot and uh, uh, they also motivated me. So it was a, a kind of boosting of confidence for me when I... Uh, mm -hmm taught uh, different uh, professionals in front of professionals I had uh, uh, delivered lectures so it was uh, uh, it boosted a lot of confidence for me. True so I think uh, going out and uh, teaching different cohorts like this uh, especially uh, starting with the orthodontists I think that's that's very interesting yeah. and then of course uh, managing all the uh, IT uh, anything so I think you must be the troubleshooter in your uh, university right so <laughs> they would be like you know uh, anything but it, it again takes a lot of responsibility and and uh, you know uh, um, abilities to do that and of course uh, when when this happened uh, at an international scale I think all of these things uh, uh, have been really really helpful uh, in, in in taking this uh, you know uh, passion forward uh, now uh, coming to uh, um, all the other aspects, you know, you've, you've been um, a, a very colorful teacher, I must say, you know, after having uh, discovered uh, uh, you as a person, I think uh, uh, you're always in, in the midst of a lot of uh, activities at, at college and, and students, and I'm sure your students would, would adore. Uh, uh, anything on that, on that note, doctor? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm a person uh, who is, uh, who, uh, you know, I'm, I don't like to sit at one place. I cannot sit at one place. Mm -hmm. I need to, uh, and I cannot, you know, just pass time and uh, just roam about here and there and just gossiping and all. I just need to do something or the other productive. I need to do uh, productive work and uh, Pacific has given me a lot of opportunity to develop myself in every field in every field I'm you know uh, in uh, college since uh, my nine years of journey I am involved in organization of cultural activity in organizing committee of uh, convocation ceremony alumni meets uh, and many of the conferences workshops whatever is there in the college uh, I'm the person who will get actively involved uh, with everything and uh, just just try to learn something new from each and everything. So uh, that's what it is. Uh, uh, I have been involved in uh, each and every each and every event of the college till now. Hmm. So I think that's also you know that really adds to the personality of a teacher. You know, after being approachable and uh, taking interest in in uh, I wouldn't call it extracurricular, but all of it is core curricular because it's important for the holistic development of the students. So. Uh, I think uh, uh, on the department front, uh, you've been uh, really proactive and working on a lot of uh, infographics and uh, material uh, science and, and just informing everybody here that, again, this is a very important uh, aspect of public health dentistry, focusing on the IEC uh, material, which is the health education material. So like, like you described, I think your experiences with uh, a lot of these have been really, uh, you know, helpful in that. So I think uh, uh, with this, I think we come to the 
uh, end of the first part of, of the session. And before I'd like to go to the second uh, part of it, I'll just like to uh, bring in someone from the audience here. So uh, yes, Dr. Madhula, uh, would you take the uh, liberty of like, would you uh, ask any of your family members, anyone uh, to chip in or should I go ahead and invite? I actually wanted your father to, to speak to all of us here. So I'm not sure if sir is connected. I think, uh, he's not there right now. Okay. I don't know whether okay. he's there or not. So I can ask Dr. Anirudh. Uh, yes, I think. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So good morning, Dr. Anirudh. Can you hear us? Yeah, I think you can unmute yourself now. Yeah, he's there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, can you hear me? Hello there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Please, please go on. Uh, introduce yourself, uh, uh, of course, uh, to all of us here. Uh, I'm also Dr. Nidhu. Husband, Dr. Mid husband of Dr. Mithila Tan. <laughs> Actually, I was just waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's why I asked you. Okay, that's that's very sweet. Yeah. So uh, uh, I have uh, I have done my MDS in oral pathology. Okay, so, so you are an oral pathologist. So, okay, so yeah. just yesterday was uh, oral pathology day, right? Uh, I I remember. Yeah, yeah we had some activities. Twenty so fifth February. Okay. Uh, yes, Doctor Anirudh. So, uh, what would you like to say about uh, your wife's journey, especially uh, Doctor Mridula has been uh, into so many domains. Uh, Anything special you would like to, you know, tell the audience, you know, and, and this is extremely uh, casual. We don't uh, yeah. really think. Yes, please. Uh, she is good uh, in managing the college also. And mm -hmm. she is good in managing the at home also. Hmm. She behaved like teacher at home also <laughs> with my son also <laughs> and with me also. <laughs> That's so, really sweet. Hmm. This is I know I I feel very good that she can manage the things, hmm. and uh, she controlled me. Whenever I used to do a lot of parties or I want hmm. to roam here and there, but she always controlled me, uh, like she controlled my son also. <laughs> okay, is your son around, uh, sir? No, or, son has gone, gone, sir. He's gone out, is it? Okay, it's a Sunday, <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> my father is there. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. Your uh, father is connected. I think we did saw Dr. PC Tech uh, in the beginning. So uh, we'll, we'll get back to sir. Anyways, thank you so much, Dr. Anirudh, uh, for pitching in. Please stay tuned uh, as we continue the rest of the session. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, Dr. Mridala, coming back to uh, where we left off, right? So I think uh, a significant part of your uh, journey now uh, revolves around statistics solution. Yeah. So that's, that's something which we are really uh, keen to know about uh, and discover. And as we go in, in detail, you know, and we find out these things, um, uh, how do you describe this? And, and of course, you did tell us about your mathematical inclination, right, uh, back then. So how did you nurture that and how did you take that forward? Yeah, mathematical inclination definitely had helped me out to understand the concepts of statistics. Uh, many people, they are not very uh, good at maths and they are not very really interested uh, in maths. Not everyone is interested in maths during their childhood. Uh, and uh, this is a subject uh, some people, they are uh, fearful of uh, mathematics. So I must say that uh, uh, this helped me a lot in understanding the concepts of statistics because if you do not know maths you cannot understand uh, math, uh, statistics as well so uh, that helped me a lot uh, and uh, also during my pg time i'll say that uh, 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 I was very much interested in uh, research and biostatistics that uh, uh, I uh, already mentioned how the seeds of interest were sown. So uh, also my, uh, that Mathura convention was uh, definitely a, a thing which inculcated uh, the seeds in me. Also, Dr. Ramesh and sir, my guide, I don't, I don't know sir has joined or not, but uh, he uh, promoted my interest like anything. I, I'll say that he's the best guide I would have got 
but uh, uh, during that time and he just uh, you know he promoted my interest uh, this field of interest and also during my pg days whenever there were journal club presentations in the department uh, of all the pgs i used to uh, you know explore the statistical part of the of each and every article i used to explore i used to help my colleagues also and i used to explore the statistical part of each and every article which helped me a lot and even i suggest to uh, the other students who are uh, doing post graduation right now that uh, this thing will really help you out like uh, if you see how statistics have been applied in the articles whether it is correct or not if it is not correct how it could have been done that uh, might help you a lot even in the department studies my own studies the studies of my batchmates my seniors my juniors uh, in all those studies also i used to explore the statistical part like uh, what should be done how we should proceed for that which test is to be applied what type of variables are there in each and every study of the uh, department i tried to get involved myself so uh, that uh, basically improved the knowledge and skills a lot and uh, uh, as a faculty again then i was uh, guiding the uh, research scholars uh, since beginning i'm guiding the research scholars all over india under the banner of statistic solutions i'm guiding them uh, with data analysis getting appreciations from them mm -hmm. uh, it's really motivating uh, i started getting appreciations from uh, many of uh, my uh, uh, research scholars who uh, had taken guidance and assistance from me uh, they uh, frequently i uh, get the messages on uh, whatsapp as well as on facebook posts frequently i used to get messages and uh, really it uh, feel uh, mo i feel motivated because in the beginning i didn't know that uh, uh, i'll be going so long with statistics i didn't know it was just a part of my public health dentistry but uh, yeah uh, definitely recently because of this i uh, gained popularity amongst the students amongst the research scholars uh, even as a uh, faculty at the college level Uh, uh at pacific dental college we have modules for our uh, pgs our uh, first year pgs we have eight or nine modules which they used to attend and get themselves acquainted with all the subjects so uh, one of the module amongst them is uh, research and biostatistics module so since beginning i am taking the biostatistics modules for all the post graduates uh, all uh, of all the uh fields of all subjects uh, they are attending my biostatistics modules and uh, uh, that's a good exposure which i got uh, to teach the professionals every year i'm taking the modules and this as i already mentioned uh, by the international online workshop which uh, uh, i was a part of it and uh, on online basis i had taken the hands on spss uh, uh, session for them and uh, uh, received a lot of appreciation messages uh, even Uh, uh, on my personal number people were sending messages for uh, uh, around a week i was uh, receiving messages and uh, uh, it was uh, really very motivating i didn't know that i'll receive such appreciation on this uh, uh, after this lecture but uh, i was actually a little afraid because it was the first time i was teaching uh, uh, on an online basis and uh, basically this was the point at which i felt motivated and i decided to start my own online courses so under the banner of statistic solutions then i started the spss courses the basic courses the advanced courses as well as uh, the the gpar software sample size calculation courses i started with uh, so since these two years i have been conducting courses several times i have conducted these courses and i have received a lot of appreciation a uh, lot of uh, positive feedback from uh, my students and uh, Uh, they have started knowing me and uh, uh, like whenever i receive a feedback uh, from uh, these students uh, it uh, makes me feel like a celebrity <laughs> like uh, i'm just telling my personal feeling what i get after this so uh, it's a, it's a good feeling for a teacher it's kind of satisfaction that your students are grasping what you are uh, trying to tell them so uh, it's a very satisfying feeling uh, to teach uh, students and uh, getting uh, such positive feedback always true so i think uh, doctor as as you um, um, you know realize the potential i'm just coming to uh, a couple of uh, last questions uh, on on statistic solution um, you realize the potential um, especially covid was a blessing in disguise and uh, uh, how did you 
curate the courses because um, when it comes to biostatistics, uh, people all start from ground zero and uh, basic to advanced and uh, then they need specific assistance and this is something which uh, like all the specialities specialties irrespective of whatever you do uh, once you decide to take a post graduation uh, you do need uh, uh, your your strengths need to be lying within you know all of these so how did you build on the courses and how did you uh, develop this forward if you could just give a little bit of uh, uh, inside into yeah, that. definitely. It was not a one day job to uh, prepare for these courses. Uh, as I'm telling you that uh, I was taking these such kind of lectures since long, I had been taking such lectures. So uh, all those things helped me to know that what people exactly know and how they how I can make them understand the concepts. So, uh, you know, uh, those people who are not good at maths, uh, you need to start from the square one, you need to start from the basics so that they also understand you need to see you are not just focusing on the bright students of the batch, you have to uh, see at the grassroots level that what kind of students are there, and how will they understand. So I am not directly jumping onto SPSS whenever I'm taking courses, I'm not directly jumping onto the um, uh, software i start my uh, you know uh, i start my uh, lecture with the basic things what is a variable what is data what are the kind of variables how i give several and several examples how to identify a particular type of variable because that is very very important uh, for them to know if they want to jump onto the software otherwise they will not understand anything in the software so I take classes from square one, whatever is required, whatever uh, uh, points are required to be, uh, to, uh, you know, for them to understand first. So basic concepts are to be given first and then they have to move on to the more complex part. So that is my basic idea. And uh, uh, after that, uh, uh, even uh, I play the recordings on the subsequent Sundays so, so that that lecture is revised in their mind. Because if I don't uh, play the recordings again, they'll not, they'll never revise it. I know that's a, a you know, uh, when we were also student and uh, we had also attended several things, we, we never used to go and revise the things at home. So I give them the study material. Uh, also, I play the recordings. I uh, just make a small effort to play the recordings on Sunday so that again, they can watch the recordings and uh, whatever they have missed out, they can uh, take it back. I think, uh, you know, when you look at um, giving a comprehensive uh, uh, overview and giving a solution, I think uh, statistic solution is is uh, something which is giving, which is really helping a lot of students across the country and uh, just sharing with all our uh, viewers here uh, that how immensely popular that they are right now is uh, if you just go to go have a look at their Facebook page, I think uh, you'll get all your reviews there and then everything will be uh, in the thing, and, and that's how I actually discovered uh, Dr. Mudila, and uh, and in a huge popularity, they have almost about six and a half thousand people uh, following them, and uh, this is in fact uh, this is a very important thing that it is the need of the hour, and uh, we've always been you know uh, looking at uh, helping the students in the core areas, and when when you do something like this, I think. Uh, all your numerous workshops which have been conducted over the uh, the last uh, two three years right two years i think online and much before that so this is in fact a testament to what kind of work uh, dr mudala has been doing and and we're really happy that uh, you know uh, this has been responsible for uh, Desimplifying or rather demystifying the myth around statistics because otherwise uh, it is it is one area where uh, uh, it, it really caused, I mean, I remember my PG back then, it was a big nightmare for me. I still can't figure out uh, uh, the, uh, you know, statistical test. But then, like they say, uh, when something like this is made, uh, it goes a huge way in generating interest for the students uh, among the, you know, uh, the audience and the learning uh, process itself becomes very, very helpful. So I think uh, that uh, is, is really amazing, uh, Dr. Mudala. I think... Uh, I think we have your uh, father who's just joined in right now. Yeah, my uh, mother namaste, and sir. father and both are there. Both father and father and father. Yeah. <laughs> okay, namaste, sir. Dr. PC Tak. Yes, I think they're not connected to the audio. I'll, I'll go to uh, your father. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Hello, sir. Namaste. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? How are you, sir? How are you? How are you? How are you? 
यस सर आज हमें आपको शेयर करना चाहोगे मतलब अबाउट डॉक्टर मुदलास जर्नी ऑफ कोर्स यू हैव विटनेस्ड इट ऑल यू हैव बीन द द रीजन बिहाइंड इट ऑल यस सर प्लीज प्लीज लाइक टू से अ फ्यू वर्ड्स यस सर मृदुला जस्ट हैव टोल्ड द ही सी द सो इनोवेटिव एंड करेजियस सिंस स्कूल टाइम शी इज सो करेजियस ऑलवेज insisting on doing some different and in a perfect manner so i was uh, intent to do something different presently i am telling her as a gem of institution and a gem of our family and it is a uh, is proving very well she is proving very well i am uh, so glad to <laughs> uh, explore this thing in uh, publicly she is so uh, courageous she always uh, handling the things in a perfect manner uh, in a lifetime life is one time or a, a proficient time she is a, a very excellent i can't have the word for him it's a steady very sweet and heartfelt Uh, yeah, I think yeah. uh, I think a father expressing uh, about his daughter. I think you've always uh, uh, made your father proud, and you continue to do that, Doctor Mudala. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Thakur, yes, for for sharing your uh, you know words with with the rest of the uh, people here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I think let's uh, come to the last part of today's session. I think um, I really don't know what to say. It's been uh, so so wonderful, uh, Dr. Mudala. I think interacting uh, with uh, various aspects of of your journey so far, and uh, right from uh, beginnings uh, in Udaipur and how you got into all of these various arenas and uh, to the amazing work that you've been doing in in statistic solution as well. So I think all of that really uh, uh, puts together. a uh, tremendous amount of of uh, you know support from your teachers from your family and uh, your students alike so as we can see i think all of you uh, the amount the amount of you know appreciation that she's received for our online sessions um <laughs> okay yeah so we can see uh, uh, on your screens as of now that you know uh, uh, really good uh, feedback which is uh, this is the your rock star moment uh, dr mudala so <laughs> so i think uh, that's that's really uh, very humbling and uh, which pushes you further uh, to to greater heights so uh, i think bringing to the end of the session today i think uh, it's it's uh, i'll i'll just leave it here for you uh, to take it forward and uh, and share your closing remarks uh, for today doctor yeah definitely i am uh, very very thankful uh, to my father and my family my mom dad my grandparents and all the family members my brother sisters and everyone for uh, supporting me during my since my childhood uh, they have supported me they have trusted me they had confidence in in me and always motivated me for making me a person what i am today also uh, my husband dr anirudh tak he has always been very supportive since our marriage in 2008 he is a very very supportive husband very very helping uh, husband and uh, he has always taken uh, he has always uh, been proud of me on uh, uh, my small small achievements uh, every time he has uh, uh, motivated me also uh, my son i will not uh, forget to mention him uh, kano uh, he is 9 years old right now and uh, he is um, always being very adjusting and uh, is always adjusted to my routine uh, also my in laws uh, uh, my father in law mother in law always uh, they have uh, uh, supported me and always taken pride in me always treated me like a daughter not like a daughter in law never they treated me like a daughter in law and uh, uh, they have always been very helping and very supportive and uh, all my, uh, my brother in law sister and co sisters all are very uh, helping and uh, uh, we are Uh, five dentists in our family. I forgot to mention that my father-in-law is also a dentist, and uh, my uh, even my um, uh, brother-in-law and uh, his wife uh, both are dentists. So we are five dentists uh, in our family, uh, and uh, even to my all mentors, uh, uh, the this uh, Thanksgiving ceremony is. Uh, 
uh, uh, will not be complete if I am not mentioning about my mentors, Dr. Jagat Sharda sir. Uh, he has always uh, motivated me to take the subject. As I mentioned, I joined his clinic and uh, he was the one who made me join this subject. And uh, all my gurus of the uh, public health industry, Dr. Srinath Shetty sir, Dr. Ramesh and sir, uh, Dr. Nagesh Bhatt sir, Dr. Shivlingesh Kamati sir, uh, Dr. Archana Sharda ma'am and Dr. Kailash Sava sir. Dr. Kailash Sava sir is guiding me till today. Uh, he is uh, my colleague. So uh, all of them, they have their own strong points and uh, they have contributed uh, a lot to make me a person what I am today. And last but uh, not the least, uh, Dr. Bhagwan Das Rai sir, who is uh, principal uh, of our institution. Uh, since I joined the college, he is the principal and he's always been an inspiration for me and uh, thanks to you sir for always uh, believing in me and uh, always giving me several kinds of opportunities uh, to work so that i can develop myself and uh, 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 thanks uh, uh, thanks everyone uh, who is around thank you thank, thank you so much Uh, Dr. Denzi, I think uh, Dr. Kailash Asava, sir, uh, please can you uh, allow him to talk a few words? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Dr. Madhra. I think there, there was a problem with the reception. Yeah, Dr. Madhila, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yes. Sir. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah, please go on, Dr. Kailash. Hi, Denzi. Uh, okay. I am Dr. Kailash Asawa. Uh, currently, I am a professor and head uh, uh, in the Department of Public Health Dentistry, Pacific Dental College and Hospital. Uh, first of all, uh, sorry for being, I was uh, driving the car actually, so I joined the session late. And now I just reached home. I was listening in the car only, all the conversation <laughs> which you were having. <laughs> It was a good, good, uh, this is a very good thing that you are doing, that you are picking uh, uh, up uh, the professionals of our branch and uh, telling and uh, like, let the people know about them, what good things they have done. It's a, it's a very nice initiative and a good thing, first of all, to you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, yes, of course, uh, the topic of the today, Dr. Midula, uh, uh, what I should say, I'm not uh, getting it exactly, but yes. A lot of things we have uh, discussed, uh, like first of all, I would like to uh, say that she is one of the, uh, like one of the best colleagues uh, that I have worked with uh, uh, in my uh, whole career till now. Uh, she is very cooperative, actually very sincere, dedicated uh, uh, to the, our branch, dedicated to our uh, profession, especially the branch public health dentistry field work or her uh, enthusiastic part, statistical work or research part. She is very, very good, very amazing, very cooperative, very helping in nature, helping the students in and around in the college also, uh, outside also, whoever is approaching her, uh, she is uh, like uh, helping them, uh, especially in uh, the research and biostatistics part, which the other students feel that uh, it is difficult for them to handle. So she is uh, making the things simpler for them, trying to understand uh, the things so it, uh, I can say that she was uh, uh, our student also. Then we had worked uh, with her as uh, she's uh, our colleague also, one of the strong pillars of our department and of the Pacific Dental College. And uh, I wish her all the best in her future endeavors. And uh, she's doing very well. So I just thought uh, I should <laughs> add these few words <laughs> randomly. Uh, sorry to uh, like uh, interrupt not you, answer, not because it, it was the end of the session and I, yeah. I just reached. So I thought I should. Uh, so uh, congratulations, Bridula, for all the achievements that uh, you have uh, made. And uh, our best wishes are, uh, uh, are with you always. And, uh, Thank you so much, sir. So nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Thank so you so nice much. To hear uh, you. You. And it, it feels uh, uh, very good that our own uh, students, our own colleagues, uh, they are uh, doing very well. People are recognizing them like uh, on this type of platform and everywhere. So it, it makes us proud also that, yeah, she is uh, a part of my department, my colleague. 
so mm-hmm. uh, it it feels uh, it uh, really gives us a special feeling uh, to us also and uh, we would like that uh, she goes on like this and uh, achieve more and more success we are there to help her out in every way uh, so that's it from my part okay thank you mridula and thank you denzi for this thank session you. thank you thank you so much okay i think uh, okay. <clears throat> that was uh, <laughs> words from your uh, head of department uh, dr mridula i think uh, everybody is really really happy to have you on board and uh, the the wonderful contribution that dr kailash mentioned i think uh, you are the pride of the department there so that's great so in fact i was just going to come to the uh, last part of uh, this thing uh, i'd like to ask uh, any of our uh, audience who connected with us uh, anybody wants to say any words uh, please do uh, go ahead now i think uh, let me just uh, ask any of the students i think maybe sagrika sahar or sashmita anyone i think we're getting in a lot of love from from the audience in in our chat box here uh, sagrika says it's a blessing to be under guidance of mridula tak ma'am yes go on sagrika good afternoon everyone so i'm a finally a post graduate in the department of public health industry and ma'am is my guide so i can say that yes it's a blessing i mean yeah she's a perfectionist in every sense i mean whenever she's checking her thesis and short studies at times you feel are yaar ma'am kar do but she's like pointing to every pin point details and which in the end it's helpful for us only so everything every bit i've learned from ma'am is like truly a blessing blessing so i'm so so thankful to ma'am and i just continue to work on her footsteps and i wish that whatever she has done even i could achieve 1% of that in my life so i'll be blessed i mean she has done great great in this branch and i just wish even if i could just do 1% of what she has done and what she has taught me so i'll be feeling blessed in that sense i'm so happy that she is my guide sagrika so one one small thing um, can you tell us something about your guide which uh, we don't know as of now <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean she is very disciplined oh my god yeah. at 8:30 right she's there in the department and we are like sneaking at 48 45 so we feel shamed oh my god ma'am baby and we are sneaking so late into the department but she is a perfectionist so disciplined i mean we just look up to her okay? every time how can she do just best in every you know in every field in every lecture everything she does is just great it's great <laughs> mm. yeah so, So that's 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 really nice, Sagrika. All the best for your exams as well. Thank you, uh, thank you, sir. Exams are approaching, so Sagrika will not uh, tell any negative points. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, Sagrika, can you tell us uh, what uh, Mridula Ma'am likes to watch? Uh, what is her favorite series? What's her favorite food? Where does she take you out for tea? Yeah, she's a uh, well. In terms of food, like whenever we have some birthday parties or some in the department, so she's when it comes to food also, she's very disciplined. She'll just have a bit of cake and a little bit of cold drink and chips, and that's all she'll eat. And she's very disciplined. She will whatever she'll eat most of the time. Like she goes in the department of oral pack, and she's has she's having lunch there only because mm-hmm. Serge is there in the department. Yeah. So she's mm-hmm. always preferring home cooked, very simple, basic meals. And because she's mm-hmm. disciplined, no, that's the key word of a life: discipline in everything. Discipline, discipline. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. Uh, home cooked food because my husband is very good at cooking. <laughs> oh, great! Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes. I think Dr. Anirudh, yeah, you are. If you're listening. i think uh, what's what's up what's up for sunday special then i think uh, i'd like to go there anyways thank you so much sagrika for chipping in and and sharing your thoughts uh, that's really wonderful coming from uh, uh, the student herself okay anybody else uh, would like to think uh, uh, say anything share an experience uh, or anything of of uh, uh, relation i think uh, dr anirudh yes hello yes yes we can hear you sir hmm So we just discovered that that you cook amazingly well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So today, what are you doing, sir? Sunday special. Sir, madam, who told you, sir? Okay, madam, who told you? I am waiting for the madam orders. Ah, okay, okay, okay. मतलब अभी काफी हमने सुन लिया सर ऐसे discipline वगैरह students को मतलब इतना वो है कि मैम सारी चीजें एकदम perfectly करती है तो मैम को ऐसी चाहिए वैसी चाहिए तो मैं पहले वही सोच रहा था कि अनिरुद्ध सर को पहले पूछ ले क्योंकि वो तो रिसीविंग एंड में ही है तो आप बताइए सर मैम को क्या पसंद है क्या उनका फेवरेट खाना है जो आप बनाते हो <laughs> सर मैम को एक्चुअली एक तो कम मिर्ची वाला पसंद है <laughs> जो मेरे, मेरे और मेरे सन के बिल्कुल अपोजिट है हम दोनों okay. को मिर्ची वाला चाहिए उनको बिल्कुल कम मिर्ची वाला चाहिए 
अच्छा अब उनको चाहिए व्हाइट ग्रेवी और येलो ग्रेवी और हमको चाहिए रेड ग्रेवी मैडम को मेरे हाथ का सर नॉन वेज भी पसंद है और वेज भी पसंद है All right. Hmm. Uh, yes, uh, Anirudh sir. Up, uh, uh, one small thing. Again, I would like to know. Your uh, story cup started when? How did it happen? Just because we are curious here uh, to know if you could give like a small. So my story is a very complicated type. Okay. It was that what Papa will say, I will do. Okay. So Papa, Papa, my father is a dentist. इंजीनियरिंग गिव द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम फॉर द आई एस एन आई पी एस अच्छा सिविल सर्विसेज तो बट आई गॉट डिड नॉट सिलेक्टेड इन द इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज एंड समबडी हैज टेक एन एडमिशन फॉर मी एंड ही स्पोक टू द ट्रस्टी इन दर्शन टेंडन कॉलेज एंड देन द कलेक्टर ऑफ द उदयपुर कॉल माई फादर कि सर आपके सन के लिए कॉल आया था बात कर ली है मैंने आप आके मिल लीजिए देन माय फादर कॉल्ड मी आई वाज डूइंग माय पीपीटी पी आई वाज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर पीईटी एग्जाम एट कोटा ओके तो फादर को ही कॉल्ड मी अप एंड ही टोल्ड मी वीडियोस करेगा मैं हां करूंगा जो पापा कहेंगे वो कर लूंगा वीडियोस करना तो ठीक है देन आई जॉइन द बीडीएस फिर उसके बाद आई गॉट मैरिड टू द मिदुला एंड देन शी टोल्ड मी दैट यू हैव टू डू द पीजी आल्सो यू हैव टू डू द मैम ने कराया आपको मैम ने पीजी पढ़ के कराया मैम ने कराया बिल्कुल मैम ने कराया वही तो हां सर ओके ओके बिकॉज़ आई यू साउंड वेरी चिल लाइक मी कि हां ठीक है चाहो कर लेंगे नहीं कर लेंगे ओके हां सर वो बताइए फिर सर मेरा बेटा भी कुछ बोलना चाह रहा है ही वांट टू स्पीक Yes, yes. Please, please. Can we see him? Yes. Hello, beta. I can't see you. Yes. Okay. Hi. Hi. What is your name? And my name is Kanav. Your name is Kanav. Sorry. My name is Kanav. Kanav. Okay. How do you spell that? Spell. K double A. N A V T A K. Okay, all right. Okay, so where was Kanav kind of all this while? Were you watching Mama on 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 uh, the iPad or the phone? Yes. Yes. We yes. spoke so much today about your <laughs> mom's story from college and uh, uh, you know dental college and so much of this thing. You tell me something now. Tell me about your mama. जो पापा बनाते हैं हाँ ठीक है फिर मम्मी लैपटॉप पे काम करती रहती है ना क्या करती रहती है मम्मी पढ़ाती मेरे को पढ़ाती तुमको पढ़ाती है ओके okay. और बाकी बहुत सारे बच्चों को पढ़ाती है ना मम्मी पता है तुमको आपको पता है नहीं मेरे को ही अच्छा थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड में हो क्लासेस शुरू हो गए और या अभी ऑनलाइन ही चल रहे Exams चल रहे ओके ओके ऑल राइट ये डॉक्टर ऑफ कैमरा ऑल्सो नो I will not say <laughs> that, but yeah, he's not uh, very, very naughty. A little naughtiness uh, is required at this age, but okay. uh, uh, he's uh, darling. 
Mm, that's that's really lovely. So I think um, this this is why why we do this Ratham uh, Radhila uh, because uh, uh, it's it's stories which actually move people. Uh, it's each each one of them is our story in ourselves. I think uh, what we are is a result of our experiences through our life. And uh, being teachers, being educators, being uh, clinicians, uh, I think uh, we uh, take a bit of our life and reach out to our pa- uh, you know uh, patients and students and everyone alike. And and this is really what uh, we were looking forward. So. Thank you so much, everyone uh, there, uh, Dr. Mudala's family, Anurud sir, uh, your father, your father-in-law, everyone, and of course, lovely Kanaf who joined us as well. I think uh, this is what really makes uh, this extra special. So, any any closing thoughts? Uh, you might uh, you can go ahead, with Dr. Mudala, before we wrap up the session for yeah, today. Uh, first of all, thank you, Dr. Denzi, uh, for uh, choosing me here uh, in front of uh, such a wonderful audience. And uh, all the best wishes uh, to Public Health Dentistry 101. Uh, I know uh, you'll flourish very well uh, because you are doing a great job of, uh, you know, uh, uh, bringing out the talents and unveiling uh, the hidden talents. So that's really a great thing what you are doing. And for students also, you are providing the platform. They can uh, learn uh, from different mentors uh, all over uh, India. So that's a very good job which you are doing and my all best wishes with you. And also I'm thankful to each and everyone, all the audience who uh, patiently listened to me here and joined me here. They spared a very valuable time. Also to the students, uh, I want to say that... um, just move further in life and uh, just wait for the opportunity it's your consistent efforts which uh, bring the opportunity uh, you each and every step just a small step uh, will count further uh, so whatever uh, you do you do with a lot of hard work uh, dedication and uh, just consistently keep doing it and the success will be all yours see you need to dream first to, to uh, fulfill your dream so uh, you should have some some dreams inside you you should, you should be ambitious for that and uh, uh, make sure that learning is a never ending process uh, you uh, every day you lo- learn something new uh, and uh, that's where uh, you come out of your comfort zone and uh, the growth will be seen so uh, never uh, lose hope and never give up just uh, move ahead in your life and uh, the opportunities will be all in front of you so thank you so much Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, that was uh, a very engaging session of uh, going through Dr. Murdala Tak's journey uh, of discovering uh, her pension for mathematics and how she nurtured in, into life sciences and the world of dentistry. And also, you know, going on, uh, you know, to pursue PG in public health dentistry and uh, today where she is with community interactions, doing so much more, um, again, empowering a lot of students with statistic solutions online. I think uh, we wish you all the very best, doctor. And uh, the, the feeling is absolutely mutual. I think uh, we all rise by pulling each other up. And uh, public health dentists uh, are, are very distinct and very unique in, in many ways that uh, we uh, interact with, with real people, with real lives and uh, with uh, real tangible care. So I think thank you all so much uh, for joining in here uh, with us today on the rendezvous session. Uh, all all uh, Dr. Mudala's uh, students uh, and colleagues and uh, department, a big shout out to Dr. Mudala's principal, Dr. Rai from uh, Pacific Dental College uh, for being the enabler uh, for, for Dr. Mudala to achieve so much and wish you Godspeed. Uh, for those who missed the session uh, in, in parts of it, it's, it's always going to be there on our PhD 101 YouTube channel. Uh, please feel free to go back there and look up and uh, do this. And PhD 101 will continue its, its uh, venture into empowering students and making the whole concept of teaching and learning public and dentistry very fun and engaging. Uh, because uh, as we firmly believe that this is dentistry for the people, by the people and of the people. So that's, that's exactly how we would like to see this. So thank you so much, everybody. Uh, have a great Sunday ahead. I think uh, Dr. Anirudh uh, is now heading towards the kitchen. I think it's time. It's, I've taken a lot of time. <laughs> so thank you. Lal, lal gravy nahi banegi, sir. White gravy banna padega. Fair, that's, that's how it's going to happen. So see you all soon. Uh, bye. Kind of, can you wave out to everybody? Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 B
<laughs> Thank you, Dr. Uh, Manisha Saxena here, uh, then Dr. Nusrat, Dr. Sagrika, uh, Sasmita, and uh, many other people, Dr. Sahar, everybody who've joined in. I can see the chat box as well. So there's a lot of love pouring in there. So great. See you all soon. Uh, thank you again, Dr. Madhila, for making this happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. Bye.